some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom in Washington State where a sovereign is in a pre-trial hearing for a traffic violation that would, could end up with him going to jail. And all he can do is present a bunch of word salad nonsense to the judge and prosecutor and, uh, well, try to even insult the judge on several occasions. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> We can address Jonathan Schuster, 4805257484. For the record, uh, this man. Why don't you added. come up to council table, please, so we can um, create a record? No, I don't want to. Uh, and give you any personal jurisdiction so I, i'll stay right here oh okay uh soft card you don't want the court to have personal jurisdiction over you by walking over that table uh well dude i hate to be the bearer of bad news but yeah the moment you entered this courtroom was the moment they had personal jurisdiction over you so already within less than one minute you've made yourself look like a complete imbecile I hate to see the rest of this video because I'm sure it gets far, far worse from here. But hey, it's entertaining, so let's continue on. No, you'll come to the council table if you would like to be heard and make a record. So you need to come up and turn on the microphone. No, I don't need to do that for me to be heard. Uh, you, you, are, I, we are audio recording, so to be heard, you need to come up to the table and you, sit with the microphone. You, you don't have to. I don't have to come up there for you to hear me. You can hear me perfectly fine. It's, I, I can hear you, but we are creating a court record, I which is audio recording. Jurisdiction by doing what you, you said, because you don't have jurisdiction over me. And so, for the record, Mr. Schuster, I, I did reserve a, all rights. I did put I, Mr. Parent as standby counsel. Right now, you don't represent yourself. You, you have standby counsel. Me well, without my permission. He has no permission to, to be my counsel. I am here sui juris, appropriate persona. I, Jonathan Tyson, Troy Faifuleo Somalia Toil, Colin Schuster, am here under fraud, menace, and arrest. Oh, boo hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Oh yeah, sure you are. You committed a violation or a crime, and you just don't want to face up to the consequences of that crime, and uh, you want to whine and cry and complain about uh, doing it under duress. Well, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. We all have to do things under duress, like we all have to go to work under duress, otherwise we'll get fired. Yeah, yeah, I know that wasn't the best analogy, but there's a lot of us that actually like our jobs, and then there's those that don't, but they need to go. Otherwise, they won't get any money. And that can be duress in and itself. I have made a special appearance to this court for those reasons. This is, I have challenged the jurisdiction of this court. And you, you have not answered that challenge, Miss Jennifer. And so I have some questions for you. I got a question for you, Softard. Why do you continue to use the judge's first name? Because in a situation like this, a formal situation, in fact, it can be considered quite disrespectful to the court and could lead to some consequences. Well, right are now, I am not here to be interrogated by you. You are well, under I the jurisdiction of this. I think you understand and you choose not to. I to not make the uh, Okay, well, Mr. Schuster. Here. I don't understand the nature and cause of, of what's going on. I don't understand how you can practice law from the bench. I don't understand how you can appoint counsel when I've told you over and over and over again that I'm here sui juris appropriate persona. I'm here of my own right in my proper person. He does not have my permission to represent me, represent me in any way. 
Well, it doesn't sound like you know how to represent yourself either, I which mean you would represent myself. Well, you would either nope, you I have don't. counsel or I you are acting pro se. Myself. And so, like I have told you, I'm here sui juris and procure persona. I challenge the jurisdiction of this court. You have not answered that challenge. We cannot move any further until you've answered that challenge. Is this is this common law jurisdiction or is this an admir admiralty maritime jurisdiction? Neither, you douchebag. You're uh, getting all this from uh, your bastardized understanding of the Constitution. You are in a Washington state court, not a federal court. Neither. <laughs> so, uh, right. Mr. Minister, uh, just this is Carmen McDonald. I'm the uh, prosecutor on this particular case. I think what the where we're at right now is you're being charged with an offense, I can barely hear, hear you, which means the record that you're trying to make is not being picked up and not being recorded. So everything you're saying is not being preserved unless you go to the bent, go to the, the table up there near the microphone. So that's number one. For the record, if, I if you would like, if you, if you would like, I will if you, step up so you can, you can hear me better, and I will speak louder. Being, being I will speak louder so you can hear me, but I do. I reserve all my rights. Boy, there goes that universal commercial code, reservation of rights. Yeah, dude, the uniform commercial code. This isn't a commercial transaction, you moron. This is a court, not a commercial transaction that requires that kind of contract. Oh, man, you are an imbecile. And I'm speaking much louder than anybody else prior to me has spoken. Mr. So Schuster, I just want to make sure that the, the Schuster, reporter can hear you me. You are making legal arguments. All right. You are making legal arguments. They should be preserved for the record, which means it needs to be picked up and recorded. I will so begin again so that the recorder can hear me. You're not choosing to be silent. You're choosing to make a legal argument. So we need to have that on the record. For the record, I reserve all rights. You've made that. I, Jonathan, Hyphen, Troy, Faiz, Valeaso, Maliator, Colin, Schuster. Oh boy, just about went into the full quantum grammar right there. Luckily, he decided otherwise. Otherwise, we would be here all day. If you're new to quantum grammar, I'll explain a little bit of it to you. Uh, it is basically where you pronounce every single uh, thing on a page, including the uh, punctuation marks. Here's a little example of what quantum grammar is. I, B, period, H, period, K, period, do hereby uh, welcome you to my YouTube channel, period. Have made a special appearance under fraud, menace, and duress. Fiduciary, Jennifer, I have challenged the jurisdiction of this court, which has not been answered. This is a social security K trust action, which you are now a real party and in interest to. This is a military admiralty jurisdiction under maritime law. However, you must realize that you have no such jurisdiction without also having a valid international contract in dispute. I am not aware of having entered in any international contracts, so I deny that any such contracts exist. So you actually think that you can't be tried for anything unless you've entered into an international contract? So you have to be in a contract with some business uh, overseas before uh, they can try you in an American court? You know that's a load of bullshit, right? Because if that were the case, then nobody could enter into a court without having to have some contract with the foreign government or foreign corporation or anything like that and the court system would just fall apart entirely will you please instruct the prosecuting attorney to inform the court if this if there is such a contract and if so place it into evidence and explain how i'm party to it and then compelled to perform under it your honor i may be challenging 1077 in this case
yeah, that's the Washington Penal Code for the criminally insane. So she wants to have an evaluation done on him now. Yeah, I would say that this dude could be quite mad because everything he just spouts off is nothing but a bunch of word salad anyway that he thinks is actual legal jargon when it has no meaning in the court. Oh, how is he going to be able to defend himself if he's not competent enough to learn actual law? I understand that um, the city's bringing up whether or not you're able to proceed in this matter. So whether or not you're able to understand the nature of the proceedings and be able to assist your attorney or to represent yourself, you have to be able to meet that threshold. Thank and you. the fact that I think it's not that you don't understand, I think it's you choose not to understand and that you have someone giving you information that you are spewing in court. Um, so you're simply off base, but I don't know that it's um, due to a mental defect we, we that is causing forward. you to not be able to, to challenge my my competency uh, because i have challenged the jurisdiction of this court well, and you have not you've not proved not jurisdiction in social security or contract you, you or have to prove jurisdiction before we can move any further so that's just not how it, it works in this court and no, i that, don't think you have the works. legal you you must prove jurisdiction because i've challenged the jurisdiction if you cannot prove jurisdiction then i move to dismiss this matter with prejudice That's denied. and so jennifer so, miss jennifer can you prove i'm judge your... grant so i'm going to jennifer, have you... Can you can you establish the jurisdiction can you prove jurisdiction miss mcdonald i don't know that this is him not understanding i do not understand the nature or cause well, he, doesn't of have he doesn't have legal training so that i think is, that, is that does clear. not matter well, uh, if I'm here, sui juris and corporate persona, I'm of my own right. I'm in my proper person. You, you've created a bond on this matter. Uh, you, you've, you've attached my social security to this to this matter. You, you're trying to charge my trust without my permission, which is illegal. It's fraud. And, 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 and I'm not going to stand for that. So you, you must prove jurisdiction before we can move any further. You've already tried to practice law from the bench, which is illegal. You cannot do. You've tried to assign counsel when when I've given no power of attorney to anybody. Uh, I've seen this uh, whole thing so far, you dumb soft tart, and I haven't seen the judge pra practicing law from the bench. And then there's the matter of power of attorney. Uh, dude, you've just been spewing off a lot of bullshit at this point and uh, proving that you don't know jack squat about anything. Power of attorney is where you have somebody else deal with your financial matters just in case you're incapacitated or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. It has nothing to do with representing yourself in a court of law. And, and we cannot move further until you've proven jurisdiction. So, Ms. McDonald, what I think would be the next steps, I don't know if Mr. Perrin, have you been able to provide any assistance to him on a standby basis? No, Your Honor, he doesn't want any assistance. Okay. So I'd ask to withdraw his assistance. So we right could go there. through the colloquy. Let, we can provide him with the form for rights. I don't know that he's going to choose to participate in that. Um, but that would be the next step and set it for trial. So, Ms. McDonald. I, I don't have a problem setting it for trial. Um, if we're if he's going to waive counsel altogether, then I think we need to have him uh, sign the uh, waiver of right to counsel. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm just yeah. saying I don't know that he's going to participate in that process either. Right. No, I, I understand. We have that. a speedy trial at August 9th. It is the burden 9th. of the state to prove jurisdiction. The, the prosecuting attorney has not done that. And so what we have here is, is we need to dismiss this matter. With prejudice, and I motion to dismiss this matter. With Denied. Prejudice, Denied. Based on the fact that the prosecuting attorney has not proven jurisdiction. Mr. Chief, would you like to sit at this table, a waiver of counsel, so that we can hear you on the this microphone? Counsel. Uh, well, you could sit at this table if you'd like. There's a pen and a form and a microphone for you. We cannot move until jurisdiction has been proven. Okay. Yeah, this should be a. You failed to prove in jurisdiction. 
Jurisdiction is something that we prove at trial. It is a factual issue as we well. Cannot, so. We cannot move any further until jurisdiction has been proven. And you, you've need, none of you have, have done that. Right. So, Mr. Schuster, did the court say that was August, end of August, or? It was August 9th, a speedy trial. Okay. So and, and if you plan on having me back here, uh, you, you're taking away from my ability to, to provide uh, and work. And, and I, I cannot just be coming back here because it, it takes my, my time away from working. Well, well, dude, when you have a court date, I'm sure you can uh, arrange something with your employer if you're not self-employed already, because most employers would be too only too happy to get you some uh, off time for your trial. And then hopefully if you're not in jail after that, uh, you'll retain your job. So there shouldn't be any excuse as to why you can't show up. I mean, unless you're just an incompetent solvetard who wants to see the inside of a prison cell at some point in his life. And so if you want me back here, uh, it seems that you have Zoom port available. I'm more than happy to make a special appearance via Zoom, but, but you're taking away my time and freedom to, to provide for my family. Does the August term start August 6th, Your Honor? It does. So I would request we set it during uh, August term. Okay. All right, so Mr. Schuster, you've been charged with driving while your license was suspended in the third degree and for operating a vehicle without the required ignition interlock device and refusing to comply with a uh, law enforcement officer. You are on a deferred prosecution in another court, and you know the consequences are extreme for you. You are subject well, you, you to another to, court, and they could very well- get in trouble. You, you have to prove your addiction. You haven't what, done that, and, and you, you failed to do that Obviously, you believe that courts do day. have and jurisdiction so, I mean, over you. Obviously, you, you have to be able to prove it, and you haven't, and you can keep pushing it and, and doing this, but it's just a waste of time for everybody. Uh, I definitely understand that this is not what you think it is, and this is just a waste of time at this point. So whatever you need to do to prove jurisdiction, but I, I know you, you can't. So if you want to waste more of everybody's time, go ahead, because obviously I'm, I'm not going to allow you to, to, to threaten me anymore, which you, you've Nobody's done. Nobody's threatening you. Yes, yes. You're telling me if I don't appear uh, that you're going to put me in, into captivity. And, and that's ridiculous for, for, for what's going on here. That, that's absolutely ridiculous. Hey, Sovtard, you do realize that you're an adult now and that... You have to uh, face up to your actions, that you have to be accountable for yourself. Oh, wait, you're a damn soft heart. You have no accountability at all. You want to joyride down the roads uh, with no license, no insurance or anything like that. And to hell and with anybody who gets in your way, because they're not one of you. They're not a sovereign citizen. They don't matter. Uh, that's all your mindset right there is. All about you, not about anybody else. No empathy whatsoever. And, and so, I don't think this matter needs to be dismissed to with prejudice. And whether, whether we need to take this to trial or whatever y'all need to do to prove jurisdiction, I mean, go ahead. But, but obviously, you can't prove jurisdiction. So... I'm looking for the more waste detailed time, um, please. counsel waste later. Time. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know that he's done that yet. No, he hasn't. I have the streamlined version, but I want him the formal, the detailed one. The detailed one. We can we can also, Your Honor, um, just set it for trial today um, with an intervening pre-trial. Provide him with that document and uh, enter the waiver at the next hearing prior to. Uh, allowing counsel to withdraw. All right. Counsel should have never been appointed because I've never gave my power of attorney to this counsel. 
And obviously you did that to, to practice law from the bench, Miss Jennifer, which is illegal. You cannot do that. Mr. Schuster, you're charged with a crime that has potential jail consequences and fines. And so your rights need to be protected. Her, this is no for your body. benefit. There is no injured party. There is no sworn complaint of an injured party. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's a waste of everybody's time. And well, you're taking away I, my ability to work over and over and over again. And I won't stand for you violating my rights. And if you're going to okay. acquiesce, then okay, you're proving that you don't have any jurisdiction. So this is a detailed um, advisement should you wish to waive your right to have counsel present and you want to act as your own attorney. I said over and over again that I'm here sui juris and propria persona. You know what that means. This case is going to be going to trial, so you need to have counsel. If you, I'm here of my own right in my proper person. You know what that means. So there's the form. I've for never you signed to... my power of attorney away to, to anybody, especially this. You need to be respectful. I, you are I, really out of line, I said Mr. Schuster. I didn't say anything disrespectful. You are being this very person, disrespectful. You are being court, very disrespectful, actually, the court, because you're, disrespe Mr. You're, you're violating my rights. So I'm going to set to, this on for the here, August term. I'm going to have you take this form. Wasting my time. Mr. When, Schuster. And you're taking my way, my I'm ability going, to, to, to provide and work. Because have a seat a there free, so you can fill out this place. form. What's that? You can have a seat there so you can fill out the form. You're dismissed. There. Do you need anything else? Yes, I do. I need you to fill, take that form. So we're going to have to go through that because this case is going to be going to trial. It's going to be set on the August term. That would be August 6th, and that will be at 9 a.m. All right, you're dismissed. No, you're not free to leave yet, Mr. Schuster. I'm not free to leave? Not yet. No, you're not. Why We're am I still not free to leave? Because we are still addressing your matter. This matter needs to be dismissed. Yeah, it's not going to be dismissed right now. So but right now it's getting set for you trial. Move any further until you prove jurisdiction. And the readiness hearing will be July thirty first, and that you, will be at you, two p.m. And that hearing, Mr. Schuster, is on Zoom. Any jurisdiction over me, <clears throat> whatsoever. I've not pleaded. I've not given you personal jurisdiction. Yes. And and, and you practice law on the bench. So, Mr. Schuster, if you Over choose not to come to your court hearings, a warrant will Over issue for your and arrest. You're threatening me again, telling me yes, if I don't you will be play expected your game, to appear. That, and you just said yes. Oh my goodness! That if I don't play your game, you will put me in captivity. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yep. These are jailable offenses, but Absolutely for this hearing, ridiculous. we can Ms. we Jack need Ray. your presence to appear. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's get a court date for him. For him. Absolutely ridiculous. What's the date for the interview? Um, we can set a pre-trial. Let's do it on the 22nd. Perfect. The prosecuting attorney also needs to provide any contracts that I've entered into internationally. Here's your court date. Uh, Could you please sign? For especially that? if this is an admiralty maritime jurisdiction, uh, which obviously by the gold fringe flag it is. Can you prove that, dude? Can you prove that a gold fringe flag uh, denotes admiralty law? I mean, do you have any evidence for that? Do you have anything at all besides what you pull out of your ass? Or what other soft-hard gurus pull out of their ass? So, Mr. Schuster, Mr. Schuster, you are in a criminal court, and there are court rules. If you criminal wish matter, is the criminal matter, Mr. Schuster? Mr. Schuster, Mr. Schuster if, you, if you wish to have discovery, then you need to abide by the rules. Criminal matter? Yes, it's, and if you yes, wish to have... Oh, okay, okay. I, was just, I wasn't sure you said that. Thank you. Yeah. 
it's a criminal matter. If you wish to receive discovery, then you will need to but make. What is the jurisdiction? Request. Are we under an admiralty maritime jurisdiction? No, we are not. Mr. Are we under a common law? What jurisdiction are we under? We are under the criminal jurisdiction of the state of Washington. So, so if, if you wish to have discovery, then you, then you need to request. Unless I give you my discovery. permission to be under that jurisdiction, which I haven't. You will need to request discovery from the prosecutor's office. I'm not a U.S. citizen, American national. This is that's not a jurisdiction. If you wish to have discovery, you need to request it in writing from the prosecutor's office, and we will send. Nationality was a U.S. U.S. And then we, that and, then we and then and then we will we will send you the, the discovery uh, of all of the evidence that we have against you at trial. Did you understand that? I don't understand what's okay. going on with this. So, this is so here's, here's my Andrew suggestion. Report. Mr. Schuster, Kangaroo Mr. Reporter. and so Mr. since Schuster. you guys are going to waste everybody's time even more, goodbye. Mr. Schuster, Mr. Schuster, Schuster. You can sign for your court dates. I'm giving them to you okay. orally. You have a good day. Talofa. If you don't appear for your court hearings that were given today, a warrant will issue. Well, like it really matters to him anyway, because he just flat out said that uh, criminal court jurisdictions don't exist. Yeah, uh, dude, uh, when they come looking for you, when you miss your trial date in August, then you're going to have something different to say about that when they haul you into court in handcuffs because you didn't believe in the courts to begin with. Yeah, come on now, dude. Be a little bit more intelligent than that. I mean, if you're complaining about missing work now, just wait until you have to go to jail or prison because of your stupidity. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?